the life of our blessed messenger Muhammad, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, can be split into two parts after he was blessed with the revelation from Allah the Most High. The first part is the Meccan period and this lasted for about 10 years. The second part was the Medinian period and that lasted for approximately 13 years. Before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent down revelation to the Prophet Muhammad, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, he used to spend a lot of time in a cave in Hira, in the mountains in Mecca. He used to spend a lot of his time, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, pondering and contemplating and trying his best to stay away from the evils of idolatry and moral uh, wrongs that were going on in the city of Mecca at the time. When the Prophet, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, turned 40 years old, he started to see things such as stones giving him salam, and he wouldn't have a dream except that it would become a reality during the day or while he was awake. And it was shortly after this period, during a meditation period in the cave in Hira, that the angel Jibreel descended upon the noble prophet Muhammad, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, and started to reveal to him the revelation by Allah's will. In a narration reported by Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, she mentioned that the prophet Muhammad, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, told her that the angel Jibreel came to him and ordered him recite. Prophet Muhammad, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, said, I cannot recite. The angel then embraced and squeezed him, released him and asked him again to recite, ordered him to recite. Prophet Muhammad, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, again responded, I cannot recite. He took him again and squeezed him and said to him again, recite. To which the Prophet Muhammad then responded a third time, I cannot recite. The Prophet Muhammad وسلم, in this hadith then continued to explain that the angel Jibreel والسلام, gripped him for a third time. And then he released him, and then he said, "Iqra bismi rabbika alladhi khalaq, khalaq al-insan min alaq, iqra wa rabbuka al-akram. These were the verses of Surah Al-Alaq, the first verses from the Qur'an that were ever revealed to the Prophet Muhammad, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him. The translation of the meaning is which, read in the name of your Lord, who created all that exists, has created man from a clot. Read, and your Lord is the most generous. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam repeated these verses. He was trembling with fear. And then he quickly returned to his wife Khadija radiallahu anha and said to her, cover me, cover me. And I want to read something which is very important here from this hadith of Khadija. May Allah be pleased with her, said to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. She said, Allah will never disgrace you. You unite uterine relations. You bear the burden of the weak. You help the poor and the needy. You entertain the guests and endure hardships in the path of truthfulness. So this goes to show us what sort of a man the Prophet Muhammad, may Allah's peace and blessings upon him, was even before he received the revelation from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.